This will just be a general tutorial on how buried treasures tend to generate and just a discussion starter for how we can identify the buried treasures faster and potentially find more ways to implement this into speedrunning. Uh, some of the bits of this information might be wrong as it's just based off of my personal research and just the observations I found while looking for these buried treasures. I I generally tend to reset for beaches to find these buried treasures. I do not recommend doing so, but I do recommend just taking a look into this and maybe potentially making this way easier to find. I know that the talking mime has discovered a way of finding buried treasures with Pyra, which will make this a thousand percent faster and potentially make this a hundred percent. 100% success success rate of finding and buried treasures. With the knowledge of buried treasure generation, the treasure hunting strategies will be more viable in speedruns, which I would like to call them treasure hunting. So, the first bit of information that you won't you might want to know about the buried treasures is that uh, buried treasures tend to replace whatever block they are occupying. So, for example, if you are, let's say let's take a look. If you are in this chunk, right? We find a 9-9. So buried treasures always spawn a 9-9 chunk. If there is a, for example, I, d I doubt it would spawn here, but we'll try, we'll tell you later. But if there's a stone here, then it will occupy that spot. And, it'll, and it will, if, there, if there's a blank spot over here, so for example, like, it would look like this. If there's a blank spot over here, it will occupy that block and put this block around it. So so it will be covered on stone block all around it and probably sand on top since it'll look quite motion. Sand or gravel. Another thing that you want to know about the buried treasures is that it is a, it is a structure, so it follows the regions. So you, you can have a negative positive buried treasure and a positive positive buried treasure that, that, are, that are in the vicinity of each other. Knowing that buried treasures are region dependent, we can find some structures that obstruct the buried treasure generation. So one of the examples could be the coral reef. The coral reef, for some for some reason, in my own research, I found the coral reef. With the coral reef spawn, I can find the buried treasures seventy percent of the time on the beaches because, for some example, for some reason, coral reefs just tend to push the buried treasure generation into the into the islands that are in the vicinity. So in one of my popular videos where I abuse pause to to find the buried treasures, I spawn here. I see that I spawn in a negative positive in a negative positive uh, region. I see the shipwreck over there that is really bad. So I move on to positive positive because I see that the negative positive looks like there's there's a bunch of beaches in there and stuff like that that might have a buried treasures which I don't want. I don't want those treasures. So then I move I move up to positive positive. And then I see the coral reef. And since I see the coral reef, since I play on sixteen chunks view distance, I know that there there are no said there are not that many beaches over there within the sixteen chunk uh, distance. So I know that the coral reef probably forced this the buried treasure that is in the positive positive to spawn over here. Well, somewhere within the vicinity of these beaches, which are positive, positive. So then all I had to do is just take two logs, make a wood shadow, shovel, and find a 9-9 chunk in the chunk. And find my buried treasure. That said, with the talking mime tech, this will make it a lot easier. As now, for example, I will be able to see that, yes, there, there's a there's a buried treasure. I mean, there's a shipwreck as well as the other beaches in the negative positive. So I've obviously eliminated those those regions because that that region probably has a buried treasure if the if if the buried treasure spawn in that region. So I move up to positive, and I can see that there's a bunch of coral reef that are probably gonna obstruct the buried treasure spawn. So now I move. I I put my view distance to five render distance. I go to root game render level entities, and I just scan carefully for the buried treasure. 
so now you see that I, I, I could see the the block candies went up there there is a more there's a better tutorial by talking mind that I will leave, leave in the description that is explaining this but I can see that my game render is going up I mean my block candies so then I can just check and go off this offset then when I check here I can see that I can I can I can confirm that the buried treasure is in this chunk. There is a better tutorial by the talking mom that I will leave in the description on how to use the pie chart to find this. Another thing about buried treasures that needs to be said is the block on which it generates on. So for example, this this block this block wouldn't contain buried treasure. This would. Let's see. This would contain buried treasure, this wouldn't. The reason is because this is flat, so this is a flat L, what I like to call it. In my and this is this is not flat because it has a it it goes up. It basically goes up and the the blocks that are next to it, they're not on the same level as it. So for example, if we have a something like this, this would have a buried treasure. If we have something like this where it's on the same, where the blocks are on the same level, this most likely doesn't have the the buried treasure because the ground is flat. We don't like the ground flat, the flat ground. Another thing that buried treasure really dislikes are the clay patches that are used to find, uh, that are used to diamond dows. So it's I've I haven't enc encountered one, encounter buried treasure under which was under the clay patch. The only time that the buried treasure would be on the flat ground underwater, well, if, the only time when the buried treasure would be on the flat ground is on underwater, like the, these grounds, which are like they they're basically parts of the beaches, but they're they're they're, they're just a little lower. They're not like a steep hill. So right here, it wouldn't generate here, but it could generate somewhere over here on the nine nine, of course. Also, the buried treasure would generate on the flat ground on the beach. In this example, we can see that the we are located in the in the positive negative region, right? So we can have a negative positive region, but the coral reefs are in the positive negative region, which which means that the the spawns most likely the spawn of the buried treasure most likely was moved somewhere. So, for example, we have a bunch of we have a bunch of beaches around us, which, which would, which could be a bad, bad, bad thing, but it's still, it's still worth the risk to check which, to check where do we have a buried treasure. So now what we want to do is we want to open our, we want to lower our render distance to five. We open our pie chart and look for the spikes. We see the spike. We move in this chunk direction, and we can see that we are on the beach right here, and probably we just dig in and find the buried treasure in the set chunk. We can recheck. We can recheck like this. No. Like this. And then we can find that our block enemies chart is up. Again, the talking mime has made a better tutorial about how to use the pie chart. So this is the seed that I will show that I will demonstrate you the region what I what I mean by when I say that the buried treasure is based on regions, when I say that you can have a buried treasure in negative negative and you have you can have a buried treasure in positive positive. So in this specific in, in this specific seed we can have a buried treasure in positive negative. So if we type slash locate buried treasure, we can see that there is a buried treasure in positive negative. But now if we move into negative negative, okay. Now if we move to negative negative, we can see that there's another buried treasure in negative, negative, negative 71, negative 70, negative 23. So you can have a, you can have a buried treasure in this chunk, which is, we can see negative, negative 70 and negative 23. And we can have a buried treasure all the way out here, which is not that far. In the, in the positive negative, in the positive negative region. Uh, another strange behavior that could be found by the buried treasures are things like this. 
So there is a reason for why there is a sandstone or sometimes stone here. So the reason there is a sandstone in this particular situation is because instead of this buried treasure, there was supposed to be a sandstone sandstone block here. But since buried treasure occupied this block, we have a sandstone which will cover it up because it is still a buried treasure. Uh, the reason this happens usually is because, as you can see, the the line at which beach ends and the and the ocean begins. The ocean is the deep ocean, and when when you have deep oceans, you usually have islands like these, which are which are very like they're not hilly like like we have we saw in the other examples. These islands are very very much so. Uh, what is it called? I don't know. These islands are very much so... I don't know, I don't know a word for them, but they're very deep. So, when you, when you spawn, when you spawn around the said deep ocean, it is, it is useful to just look for these small patches, which are very recognizable. Sometimes it's possible for the buried treasure to not even be connected to the beach so in those examples are those examples are usually when you have a ravine cutting through the beach and therefore the beach chunk being in the same chunk as the ravine and the nine nine the nine nine block being all the way down in the ravine which would make examples like this possible so if you have a chest so if i put a chest here have a an example like this let me find a ravine so imagine this is a ravine here and we can have an example like this happen as the sand block was supposed to be there it just occupies it and just leaves it here the, this can the, this doesn't have to necessarily happen with the sand because it could possibly happen with like granite if you are in if the nine nine chunk is in the cave you can have situations like these happen as the the chest occupies the granite same with andesite and diorite so we can have an andesite here and we can have a diorite this all this is all because the chest occupies the block and it basically copies it around it every time it spawns. This also makes treasure hunting easier as you can check multiple chunks and if you follow your so let's see so you see how I have a nine nine chunk if you follow that line you can probably just see which one is nine nine and just just skip over it so for example here's the nine nine I can see that there's stone here so I can just skip over it and go check another one so I don't have to spend time digging through. So here we have 9-9. Nine, nine. There's nothing there. We go to the next one. We have 9-9 nine, nine that we can see there. There's a, there, there is a, as I said, sandstone coming out. We just identified that there's a, ch identifies that there's a chest. As well as the coral reef, the icebergs tend to force the spawn a lot of times as well into the into the small islands which are around them so you can basically replace coral reefs with icebergs and apply the same logic to them and just assume that the these icebergs forced forced the very treasure spawn to be on the small islands whichever one it is if you spawn in one that's surrounded by the icebergs there's a huge problem there's a, there's a huge chance that there's a buried treasure on this island. In the description, I will be I will be leaving a link to a filter made by the same person who made a filter seed filtered seed glitchless filter. This filter will basically find you a bunch of a bunch of seeds that are have a buried treasure in the vicinity of 64 blocks within you within the spawn, and this will help you to practice your pie chart reading and your buried treasure your treasure hunting some of the information in this video could be wrong as i'm not i didn't really read into, into the game code all i did was 
researched this, looked into forums, and just did my personal, just did my personal studying. So yeah, I, I hope you guys have fun looking for these buried treasures. I do not recommend doing this in runs as my personal best, uh, my personal best, I would say that I usually found the buried treasure in one and 20 beaches that I've had. And it is one in 20 beaches, not one in 20 seeds. So if you, if you really would like to s practice your buried treasure finding, buried treasure hunting, then I really recommend this filter.